Welcome everyone back to Weekly Weather Updates, and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar, the weather warnings, as we do have snow warnings and rain warnings in force, and then we'll have a look at the UK Met Office Run, the GFS and the GFS Ensembles. Do, do want to make sure this video is nice and brief, as I know of course it is Christmas Day, and I hope everyone has had a great Christmas and is continuing to have a great Christmas this evening and a great festive period as well. So yeah, thanks for watching on your Christmas day. So do remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. And remember to follow on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. So if you do look on Twitter at the moment, you can actually see we have recorded a white Christmas. Now, earlier this morning, overnight really, so before sunrise, we saw some snow showers across northern Scotland, over the Scottish Highlands. And in Brymar, we have a photo of a white christmas now only a few areas have seen snow so far today um in scotland and some sleet over the pennines as the metal has said however over the course of this evening we could see the potential for more snow as we do have a period for heavy rain uh sort of bumping into colder air in from the southwest so we do have a look at the live radar. You can see that heavy rain in the southwest has put quite a deluge to the southwest parts of South Wales, Ireland, and Northern Northern Ireland as well. So pretty miserable if you did want to get outside today for a Christmas walk. It was not pleasant at all. However, further northwards in the east, Midlands, Northern England, Northern parts of Wales, and Scotland, it's been a pretty dry and fairly pleasant day. A um, few showers now edging in, and this heavier rain will be making progress further northwards throughout this evening. So overnight tonight into tomorrow, there's going to be some heavy rain around further northwards, and some snow over higher grounds of northern England and southern Scotland. And we could, once again, see white Christmases there, or at least a technical white Christmas, with snow falling out of the sky for some over the course of this evening into tomorrow morning. There is a snow warning in force it's early tomorrow morning into uh, into the early afternoon tomorrow, so Boxing Day, and some of that snow could fall this evening, so a technical white Christmas. But it's been a fair day for many areas in the north and the east, but in the far south and southwest, it's been pretty miserable indeed. Not a particularly great Christmas, to be honest, not really weather anybody really likes. I think most people would either want it to be really snowy, so nice and festive, or just generally nice and sunny and pretty bright and pleasant where it's been pretty miserable out there today. Now if we do have a look at the weather warnings, uh, and there has been a rain warning put in force last night uh, from 3pm today until 9am tomorrow. And you can see by the radar with heavier rain pushing into Northern Ireland. Um, so yeah, heavy rain across parts of County Down and Armagh later today and overnight may lead to some localised flooding and travel disruption. Further details, you can see maybe 25 to 40 millimetres, as maybe as much as 60 millimetres, highly likely lower end of the impact scale. So it's fairly significant impacts from this. And just yet, yeah, unfortunately, this is happening on Christmas Day when I think a lot of people do like to go out and have a Christmas um, walk. Uh, at least, at least hopefully it's pretty decent outside, whereas today it's been yeah pretty miserable indeed. But hopefully everyone has still enjoyed their day. If we have a look at the 26th, so Boxing Day, we do have snow warnings in force from parts of northern England into parts of southern Scotland and central Scotland as well. Snow and strong winds are expected, leading to a possible disruption, mainly to travel over higher ground. You can see it's from early hours of the morning until midnight, uh, midday tomorrow. Greater potential for snow accumulating over the southern Pennines. Um, that was a reason for it being updated earlier today. So warning extended further southwards into Derbyshire, as a little further eastwards over Durham and Northumberland. So we could see a fair covering of snow this evening, even to moderate levels. And you can see potential over northern England and central Scotland, 2 to 4 centimetres are possible around 200 metres, so moderate hills and 5 to 10 centimetres over the higher ground, um, higher hills and peaks of mountains, 5 to 10 centimetres possible over 300 metres, coupled with strong winds, could be um, could be some sort of blizzard-like conditions maybe, um, and those could be like uh, pretty likely over three or 400 metres, and yeah, they will be moving into Scotland, um, but further southwards it may turn back to rain. High likelihood, lower end of the on the impact scale as it is generally this weather front bumpy into the colder air before slowly fizzling away. So not expecting any massive amounts of snow 
uh, especially for these regions which do generally get quite a few snow days over the course of the winter because of elevation um, but it is happening potentially tonight Christmas, Eve, Chris, uh, Christmas Day evening into Boxing Day so could be quite a festive Boxing Day for if you are have any if you are living on any moderate ground um, over um, in northern England and Scotland make sure you do stay tuned to the radar and the warnings because of course some of you may be doing some traveling tomorrow may be going to visit some relatives who live further northwards or live over higher ground and it could be fairly pleasant where you are it could be five degrees or so and you go up 100 meters or so and there's snow and slick conditions so do make sure you do stay tuned to the warnings and the forecast for if you are traveling anywhere that could see some snowfall over the course of this evening so if you do now have a look at the uk met office run have a look at the next five days for precipitation and temperatures well you can see that band's moving up from the southwest um over the course of of this afternoon into evening and you see it will spread into most areas over the course of the early hours this morning you can see around 11 p.m to midnight it is turning to snow across parts of northwest england and northern england southern scotland over the course of the evening you, uh, evening into tomorrow morning you see it's turning patchy so quite a few areas could wake up to a light covering and as i said not expecting massive amounts of snow but a few areas of course could see five or ten centimeters getting heavier pulses through tomorrow, just generally quite a few showers around, maybe still some snow across Scotland. So Boxing Day, not looking like a great day. It does look like there may be some sunshine across Ireland and parts of the south and southwest. Before, more cloud builds for the 27th with heavier rain in the south. Before we just see, yeah, multiple bands of rain and wind moving in, um, of course, with this unsettled period again. We'd hoped about five days ago that this was all going to be shifted further southwards and we were going to see some of this snow over the first period. But as, as we've seen over the last few days, it hasn't come off. And you can see generally quite a lot of rain, maybe quite a considerable amount of snow over some peaks of Scotland. But it is looking like it's going to be turning very mild, uh, potentially quite rainy from the southwest beyond that. So we do have a look at that amp, as you can see today, it was actually reasonably chilly, really. Early hours of this morning, we woke up to a frost across many parts of northern England and Scotland. And of course, that snow over uh, Brymar, over the Scottish Highlands. This afternoon, may widely temperatures around 4 or 5 degrees in many areas of central England, east England, the southeast, parts of northern Ireland. But the far southwest and parts of southern Ireland got to around 9 or 10 degrees, that milder air nudging in. And of course, across northern England and Scotland, temperatures around freezing or even below freezing. So a pretty chilly day in the north. That cold air could have been further southwards if we had got the right pressure charts. Now, beyond that, you can see overnight tonight, pretty chilly across the north where we could be seeing snowfall. Uh, further southwards, it is turning quite a lot milder, 9 or 10 degrees across the south coast. And that milder area is slowly nudging further northwards. And you can see by Boxing Day, 7, 8 degrees widely across England, and Ireland, Northern Ireland, further northwards across Northern England and Scotland, hovering around or just maybe above freezing, or below freezing over higher ground. By the 27th, all areas will start pretty chilly overnight especially across ireland northern england and scotland but it sh will be turning considerably milder by the 28th you can see really mild temperatures in the far south but further northwards still pretty chilly and we've got this big temperature contrast between um air masses and that's why we're seeing these big bands of rain moving up from the south by the 28th pretty mild in the far south still chilly across northern england and scotland by the 29th we're seeing that really mild air head up from the far south, southwest. 14 degrees possible in parts of southwest England, but of course Scotland freezing, and that's those big clashes of air masses. And you can see by early hours of Thursday, 30th of December, widely 11, 12, 13 degrees across parts of England, Wales, and Ireland. So, yeah, really turning pretty mild to end the year. But as we'll see with the GFS and the GFS ensembles in a minute, does look like we will be seeing blocking patterns potentially returning soon so do stay tuned for that so we do now have a look at the gfs run now it hasn't fully come out but it's come up to 336 hours you can see the pattern at the moment with south to south easterly winds chilly air to the north it's nudging into scotland milder air in the south and we just continue to see this pressure pattern play out and eventually as we head towards later this week Around Thursday, Friday time, we're going to be seeing really mild southwesterly winds. Look at those upper air temperatures, really quite mild air. 
And beyond that, we do see milder air in the south, but you see this really cold air starting to edge out from the northwards just before day 10. And I've been saying over the last couple of days that although this cold spell that we'd hoped in around, around the festive period hasn't come off, those blocking patterns aren't going anywhere. They are still within the atmosphere and still likely to occur again. You can see by day 10 on this latest GFS run, we have another Greenland block developing. Cold air sinking out of Greenland and it's coming bitterly cold to start the new year first week of january we're in bitterly cold air mass and that minus five line moving through if not minus 10 line right towards the end of the run a good five day potentially bitterly cold spell there eventually does run out of course um with wesley wind trying to push back in but as i said those blocking patterns are going anywhere and i do expect to see many more of these sort of bitterly cold runs to start appearing in the models once again very interesting seeing the gfs is developing this around day eight to day 10 so as i said a cold spell might not be far away it may only be a week to 10 days away um but at this stage just got to keep an eye on the models and we won't be calling anything too early at this stage simply because of how uh, the last cold spell or potential cold spell really did diminish very quickly within the models so we'll be keeping a very close eye on the blocking patterns over the next few weeks looking very mild next week but the potential into the first week of january things turning much colder once again uh, we'll have to see how that, how that does play out now if we do have a look at the gfs and so on we'll have a look at the 6z run as the 12z hasn't fully come out but we'll still have a look at that in a minute you can see generally around average today Chilly further northwards, of course, but that milder area is slowly hedging in from the south. You can see it's just an upward trend. Quite a lot of precipitation over the next few days, bands of rain moving in, but equally dry patches as well. And you can see temperatures peaking in around the 29th to the 1st of January, around 5 to 10 degrees angry for GHPA, a good 5 to 10 degrees above average. Beyond that, temperatures do start to fall away through that first week of January, and you can see the big spread in the ensemble. So you can see the 6 set to GFS run actually went really quite cold um, right towards the end of the run some very cold ensemble members around with it some very mild ensemble members as well so difficult to say exactly what we're going to be seeing at this stage um general trend of course is still milder than average but those cold runs are starting to appear and it's something we need to stay tuned for if we do have a look at the 12 set to see how that is evolving you can see again sort of up to the new year looking really quite mild um so we'll have to see what happens with these runs over the next couple of days It'll be very interesting to see if we do see some of these really cold, quite cold runs appearing once again in the ensemble members as those blocking patterns look like they will be returning once again so yeah hope you've all had a good christmas um and looking forward to the general festive period and the new year of course so anyway, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you again for another video soon.